Choose Freedom, choose adventure, choose leisure. Hi, Hi campers. campers! Welcome back to the Choose Leisure Motorhome channel. My name's Dawn. And my name is Mark, and we are your dedicated handover technicians down here at Choose Leisure Motorhomes, Canterbury, Kent. So, Dawn, what have we got behind us today? Well, today we have the very lovely Voyager. It's a Swift Voyager and it's a 494. Yeah, super van on a Ford Transit, automatic. Uh, 155 brake horsepower. Yeah, so we're going to do a quick review for you now, so follow us around. So here we are then, campers. We are on the near side or passenger side. First up, we're going to show you is your waste drain. So with this particular vehicle, the waste tank capacity is 85 litres. That's not a bad size, is it? Not I mean, it's quite a big van, but it's a really good size. Yeah, and you've got your habitation door, privacy glass, you've got your external barbecue point. Lovely. Now, this vehicle hasn't got an awning canopy, no. uh, but you could always have one fitted if you was to purchase. You can yeah. add these things on yeah, later on. Yeah, just chat to the sales guys and we can organise that for you. Absolutely. Uh, and then you're into your gas locker. Uh -huh. So the gas locker will hold two six kilo bottles and you Lovely. can see you've got your crash protection regulator yeah. in there as well. Super. And the tie downs there, keep your bottles nice and secure. Lovely, lovely. Fresh water in there. So the fresh water um, tank, actually the capacity to that is 110 litres. Again, great size, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a really good size, cool. isn't it? Um, you also have the option of having a two-pronged 12-volt connection. So if you were to take an aqua roll with you, you can pump the water out of the aqua yeah. roll into the vehicle. Get a nice well pump or an electric pump in it, yeah, yep. certainly. And then you've got your fresh water tank drain. Ah, fantastic. So actually you're nicely all on one side. Yeah, that's so not, great, actually. not remembering which side's which, which yeah. is quite all the utilities are on that side, brilliant, yeah, that's nice. cool. Uh, and then you're into your garage space, oh, wow. nice large just, garage space, look at the size of that. Have a whiz in, look at all super, yeah, no, I love those ringed lights actually. Yeah, they're quite they're just, cool they're actually, just, they? probably don't look like a ring on this uh, video, but they are. Circular. And then we've also got some uh, power in the garage as well, which is fantastic. Yeah, so you've got USB charge points, 12 volt and 3 pin, and 240 volt mains, yeah. yep. Fantastic. The van comes equipped with carpets and you get um, some goodies in there as well. And cushions, so you can have a good old pillow fight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> enjoy yourself while you're travelling. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You can do. Lovely. Fantastic. So, yep, here we go on the back. So you've got the uh, two-lay rails already in situ, so if you needed it or wanted a bike rack fitted, again, you can speak to sales guys, they can add that on for you. Uh, you've got your reversing camera at the top. Yep, lovely, just oh, above nice that. Nice big yeah. swift decal. Oh, that lovely big swift decal. Yeah. The 494 and that lovely little union flag down there to show you that it is a British made <laughs> van, which is great. Yep, lovely. So again, here we are on the off side, uh, or, or the driver's side. You have oh, yeah. another access to the other side of your garage. So Brilliant. if you are parked up against something rigid like a like a wall, yeah. uh, then obviously you can gain access from either Great. side. So it's nice, well lit space. Yeah, light on the other side. So both sides of those lights yeah, are fantastic. Yeah, you've got some shelving in here as well. Cool. Yeah, practical good space. Yeah. Lovely. Moving on down the side of the vehicle, you've got your boiler flue, and of course your fridge vents, and then the cassette of joy. The cassette, yeah, fabulous, which is always good, makes so life nice and comfy. So this toilet cassette comes on wheels. Brilliant, that's lovely. Yeah, makes life easy. And again, no need for extra chemicals because it runs off your fresh water tank. Yeah. So Same you only no. need the chemical that goes in the cassette. No pink fluid. Any cut just... down of uh, chemicals is always good in my book. Yeah. You also have an external shower external point. External shower, exactly. Yeah. Yes. So if you've got muddy feet or yeah. sandy feet or yeah. you need to rinse something off, then you can do. Absolutely, and there's you know no excuse for having a smelly chihuahua. Well. No, not, there not is not. Days. No one likes a smelly trower. <laughs> then you've got your main hookup lead goes in there. And then you're onto this side of the vehicle. So with oh, the yeah. Fords. Ah, uh, the handbrake. The handbrake, yeah. So the handbrake always looks like it's in the down position. So it looks like it's off. off. Yeah. But the handbrake is actually on, but it stays down low so that you can still Spin swivel the, the seats. seats. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, and you will get a warning, uh, an audible warning on that, and it actually comes up on, it the, comes dash up on the dashboard. It comes up on the dashboard, yeah. Handbrake yeah. So okay. that's cool. So that's the exterior then, campers. So why don't we take a look inside? Yeah. So come on then, campers, in we go. Just inside the door, in typical swift fashion, 
uh, we have your dustpan and brush inside the bin. Fantastic. So no wasted space. Yeah, that's good. Black outlines. Yeah. Fly screeny nice. for the midges and the flyers. Brilliant. Really Scott and 500. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but come with me, campers, and in we go. So this isn't the biggest lounge. Um, we've seen other models in the Swift range with a larger lounge, but it's more than adequate. And once you've spun the seats around like we have done, yeah, it's, it's a really nice good. space. Yeah, it does open it up a lot, actually. And you might be thinking, so, well, that ceiling's a bit low, and you are correct. However, ta-da! Uh, yeah. So for myself, I would need to do that so that I've sure. got the extra headroom. But then it makes it a lot bigger. It's yeah. quite it's quite deceptive on how That's how good. much larger this space feels now yeah. standing here. Actually, yeah, that does open it up, and like you say, it's not the biggest space, but actually, pretty adequate, isn't it? I mean, it's more than yeah. adequate. It's a, that is not bad at all. It's not nice, no, a nice space. You can take the table and move it. Yeah, it's wonderful. So yeah, once yeah. you get that out of the way as well, then that opens that space out if you didn't need that, because you could use this as a Brilliant. coffee table, not just yeah um, a space for your television, because you have got television points. Television up here. points up there as well. Yeah, so you could watch your TV there. Yeah, and two drawers. Yeah, that's wonderful, isn't it? It's the really good. Front seats are fixed with Isofix. So if you okay. have children with children's seats, you have the safety of the Isofix. Yeah. points as well fantastic and again a shelf at the top there once the beds are and another little cupboard as well which is super fantastic so i've just got the ladder out cool for the drop down bed so you can actually clip that on there like this and it clips yeah. on quite nicely there's like little kind of feet that make it stable on the uh -huh. bottom so it levels it out. That's and if you want to go up there and show the campers, yeah, Marky. that's a great space. Look at that. That's enormous up there. Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a normal size bed, isn't it? That's not like you're, you're no. sort of scrimping on size. I mean, No, it, that's actually about the same as size as a standard UK double bed. Yeah. No, that's the terrific. Four foot four, four foot six. Yeah, that's terrific size, isn't it? That's really good. There's also little attached lights up there as well. And you've yeah. still got a window, actually. And so you've got natural light that comes in as well. I mean, that's brilliant, isn't it? as well. Really and then good. underneath, you have side protection Cargo nets. bars. Yeah, again. Um, which will clip in and go along just so that you can't roll out in the middle yeah. of the night. Brilliant. Which is always a good thing in my book, because yeah. that's quite a long way down. <laughs> it's a drop in there. And you might have had a glass or two in the night before. We don't judge as we no, know. No, we do <laughs> yeah. not. So, and it stops small children. Although, if you do away. have quite a few vinos or a few bevies the night before and you're up on that bunk, good luck yeah. getting down that ladder if you need to be in the middle of the night. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Or the stick yeah. to the rear bed. Yeah, yeah. or the side window, whichever you prefer. Your choice is yours. Fantastic. Yeah, that's brilliant. Lovely. So here's the kitchenette. So you have extendable work surface. Yeah, again, a good size, isn't it? So again, it's, and it's nice and flush. Yeah, that's great. You've got a full-size grill oven. With Thetford oven and grill. Yeah, and a hob. Three burners, gas burners, and an electric hot plate. Yeah, fantastic. That's so, cool. and then of course, if you put the glass down, you get extra work surface space again. Yeah. Hot and roll, cold running water, of course. You've got yeah. a three pin uh, socket just here. So, if you were to plug in a, a toaster or a, an actual kettle, yeah, terrific. You can yeah. do. Nice little now, plastic bowl as well, I've just noticed. Yeah, that comes with that. Oh, it's brilliant, yeah. isn't it? Um, so, this cupboard's just here. You can actually take this cupboard door off and have a microwave in there if you wished. Brilliant. Because in this cupboard at the top, and just scooch around. you've got a three-pin socket oh, yeah, for uh, that facility. Yeah, mains. yeah fantastic. Mm -hmm. So right. that's that's yeah. quite good. So they've given you the yeah. option. They've not automatically put one in, yeah. because not everyone wants one. Mm -hmm. um, but you've got the option of having one as well. And then if we turn around on this side, around. you've got your three-way mm -hmm. fridge. Oh, yeah. So I think it's 133 litre fridge with a removable freezer. Ah, freezer box, yeah. So, so you can actually take that out and extend the fridge. Side, the bigger fridge if you don't want the freezer. It opens box. from both sides. Who doesn't want ice cubes for the gin and tonic? That's well, the thing. Well, that's true. Wonderful. The storage above? And it opens from oh, both, both sides. Ones. Yeah, terrific. That's cool. Yeah, storage, storage above, above, Mark, as you pointed out, with yeah. your solar yeah. regulator also up there. Regulator. And we are going to be trickle charging your leisure battery all the time with yep. that one. Yeah, that's brilliant. Who's You've got storage top? below as well. Storage below. Nice yeah, drawer deep, space. Deep drawer there as well, which is cool. Of course you have. The partition. The partition yeah. to separate your bedroom. Yeah, gives you that lovely privacy that you know you want if you're going to have your family. 
Absolutely. That's terrific. And there is a little catch in here actually. It's just got caught up. Yeah. To allow me to so, just stow oh, yeah, that back nicely back. so, so it, it doesn't kind of hang out and slap you in the face. <laughs> is that a great big uh, wardrobe beside you? It is. Oh, it got a big wardrobe. And and oh, actually, and stowed in here, spin. unusually, oh, is where you've got your chopping board and your strainer for yeah. your kitchen sink. Yeah, lovely. That's terrific. And then there's some cables there for entertainment as well. TV yeah. here. Brilliant. That's lovely. Yeah, super size. Yeah, nice, isn't it? So this is a really nice size bed. It's yeah. just just slightly less than a, a UK king size, I think. Yeah, that's a decent size. It's kind size. of bigger than a double, but yeah. not quite as big as a king size. Yeah. But you can't see from where you are. Uh-huh. But you've got cubby holes here. Oh, One's got good. USBs Brilliant. with a little shelf, yeah. so you could charge your phone and leave it there. Yeah. And then you've got a three-pin socket and yeah, your so. light switch. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, fantastic. And you've got that little lovely alcove lighting underneath there as well. Yeah. And those wardrobes are really deep as well. I like those. They're just really, they're deeper than, you, than I first imagined. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Well, wow. That's got to be. Hang on a second. Hanging well, let's, let's not leave the campers hanging on yeah, there. No, no. Well, how, how many arms? How many, I reckon that's a good, good whole arm. Oh, three quarters of an arm. Three quarters of an arm deep. Three which quarters is of brilliant. an arm yeah. deep. That's <laughs> good. I like that. That's great. Does the bed lift, Dom? That's what I'm um, just suddenly wondering if it does. I think it probably does because I've got a feeling this is probably where the boiler's going to be. Oh, you've got storage under here. Oh, storage well. underneath there as well. So there is storage. And there's yeah. what drawer storage there, isn't there? No, storage? that's no, just no, a shelf not. there to. Oh, it's to, a shelf. Yeah, so put your, put your socks. Yeah, fantastic. That's lovely. Um, the boiler drain is accessible from the garage. And ah, there'll be a little panel You saw in the that garage. earlier on. Yeah. I forgot to mention it, but then you know me, ever the professional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brilliant. That's your bedroom right there. But also, sorry, before you disappear, yes. look at the soft furnishings with the curtains. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if you don't yes. want your fly, fly screen down. or your blackout yeah. blind, but you just want a little bit of privacy, but you want some natural light coming in. Yeah, yeah, curtains then you've got. Oh, that's lovely, yeah. And then they're dressed off with those other curtains. Those other curtains aren't big enough to come across, but they do dress and frame yeah. that window really nicely, don't they? Although I think it would look unfinished with the framework yeah. of the of otherwise. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. No, that's lovely. And again, that's lovely sort of beach or uh, birch kind of coloured uh, woodwork. But also, you've got like green. a fabric headboard. So if you're sitting there and you're reading, yeah. you've got something to lean up against, which is quite nice as well. That's brilliant. Lovely. So, quick look at the washroom. Nice little compact washroom, but it's got everything you need. You need. That's pretty wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. So you've got a fold-up sink. Yeah, fantastic. So it stows away quite nicely. Yeah. Of course, you've got a swivel um, seat for the loo. Toilet. Yep. Flush back there. Then you've got cupboard space, and then you've got your shower. And again, a with the rail, up, rail up, up there to hang there. anything that's wet and that may be drippy. Yeah. Wonderful. Do we have? I'm just wondering. In the corner. Uh, yes, so yeah. there is a little window, and you can actually uh, that tells you when if your cassette's full. full. Yeah, so it just warns you. So that will gradually turn from green to red as the cassette's full. And uh, yeah, it's time There's to get a cassette. Like um, a coat hook up here as well. So not only have you got the rail. Cool. But there's actually like a coat hook so you can hang your towel up or your dressing gown or something like Brilliant. that. Brilliant. And I did notice that that magnet on that door was... Pretty sturdy really, stuff. Yeah, yeah really strong, is, wasn't it? Yeah, it's quite... It yeah, is wow. pretty... Yeah. To give it a good old tug. Yeah, brilliant. So that's not going anywhere when yeah. you're travelling. Fantastic. I think you also have a catch as well, so if you do want to keep it open while you're travelling. But again, nice little coat hook up there yeah. as well. Yeah, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Love it. It's cool. Well, in conclusion, Dawny, what do we think about this one? I really like this one. I like the fact that it is a three and a half ton vehicle. Yeah. It's not that big. You've got the big bed at the front and the rear. Um, two and it's luxurious just got beds. Actually. Everything that yeah. you want. Yeah. Two, and yeah. Two, two big, luxurious nice size beds. Yeah. beds. Four of you can go away. And this space, you know what? It's, it's more than adequate, really. I mean, it's just a pretty good space there. With that yeah. huge great big garage as well, you yeah. would think that this vehicle would just tip it over the three and a half ton yeah. threshold, but it no, doesn't. Brilliant. It's, it's quite it's, cool. it's quite nice. Yeah, most I mean, people can drive it. When you think the length of it is seven point seven meters. Yeah. And the height is two point nine eight. Yeah, with and that's the, with that dome. That kind yeah. of domed 
not top quite luton but yeah. that kind of top yeah. to it so More you've got the extra luton isn't it, I suppose. well yeah with the with for the uh to cater for the drop down bed above and like most modern vans you've got this lovely slate gray mm. calming kind of cream or white sort of uh cabinetry and with contrast with that lovely sort of wooden style you know yeah it's, it's not familiar. again it's not too stark it's you know it's practical it's nice it's it's great yeah. for families or great for solo trips if you're going away on your own or you yeah. know you don't feel like you're tripping over. it's got everything you need i think it's definitely be a van that you would buy if there were four of you because otherwise you know if you could have this van without the uh bed over the cab um and then it would kind of give you more space here, I think. But, yeah, but then not that, and, and from a different kind of aspect for that, if you were travelling solo and it was just a couple of you, just the two of you going. Loads of storage, got, I think. Yeah, yeah, you've got loads of storage, but you could have visitors yeah. that could go up there That's and utilise the bed. Yeah, um, yeah. And then you, you know, you haven't got to worry of making up a bed every night because you've got the fixed bed in the back. And you've got that partition, so it still makes it nice and private. Mm. You've got that, yeah. Again, it's kind of going to that kind of adaptive space that. Um, yeah. Swift, you know, make a point of it. It's got, you know, and with the gas like... struts on the top bunk, that just makes that easy to pull up and yeah. pull down with no need for uh, extra electronics or anything else yeah. that could go wrong. And, or yeah, like and, that. and more weight with motors. And it's just suspended up there now on those gas struts. We've been sitting there for a while. You know, it's terrific. And it's absolutely it's, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, it is. It's wonderful. Yeah, no, I, I, again, you know, I, we do tend to like lots of vans, but they're, you know, it's a Swift brand. It's, it's, terrific it's a lovely van loads of space very practical really comfortable to be yeah, in you could have some great holidays in this vehicle no problems at all you could drive it pretty much anywhere but wonderful fantastic Ford transit and transits are known for the reliability and yeah being strong vans no it's fantastic absolutely nice love it. to drive very yeah. nice to drive we are swift dealers uh, main, are, yeah. main dealers down here at Chews Leisure in Canterbury. Um, this Voyager range is um, available in lots of different layouts. Yeah. So it's, this isn't just the only one. So again, if it's not quite what you want, but you quite like the look of the Voyager range, um, and it's, you know, speak to the sales guys because they always know what we've got coming in stock if we've not got stock on site or we might have one on site that you can look at. Yeah. Um, likewise, keep an eye on the Choose Leisure Motorhome channel yes. because obviously yeah. we'll be yeah. filming more content and showing you different models and layouts and, as they come And back. campers, you can check out the stock on the website as well, mm. www.chooseleisure.co.uk and just check out our stock. We might even have some uh, pre-loved stock with a Swift, but I doubt it. The, they come in and they go pretty quickly. So, yeah, they do, yeah. Um, yeah, but do have a chat with the sales team. Yeah, keep an eye on our channel as well, the Choose Leisure Motor Home channel. Um, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, ring the bell up. so that you can actually yeah. follow us along on, our, on this uh, crazy little journey that we find ourselves <laughs> on. Yeah. Um, yeah uh, until next time, campers, carry, carry on, on camping. camping.